queens this is legacy the natural birth queen and i'm going to be taking you behind the scenes of one of my clients unassisted unmedicated home water lotus burn i'll be sharing with you some of the highlights and the results of her amazing birth so let's get into the video so the contractions are around three minutes now so i think we should do a circuit where you stand up for about 15 minutes you do contractions for 15 minutes standing or in the shower or on the toilet and then come back in the water it looked like more amniotic fluid okay nice. they're much closer together now so it's working really well hi mama hey. how are you you look beautiful <laughs> you guys look so alike, you and Jashana. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're doing really, really good. They're getting a lot closer together now. They're doing perfect. They're two minutes, some 258. You had one that was 157, 233. So you're progressing fine. Just keep resting, gaining that energy. You're doing really, really good. What do you like the most right now, other than the water? Okay, so we'll stay in the water then. But in, so instead of getting up, you'll just stay on your knees. I just still feel it in my hips. Oh. In your hips? You're feeling it in your hips? That's a good thing. Do you feel it in your back too? Yes. Yeah. Did you feel, do you feel pressure down there? Okay. Yeah, I feel pressure. I would recommend that you just stand in the tub because I can tell baby's really trying to push down now. So if you stand up, it's going to, it's going to take away that pressure because baby's going to be able to drop. So you just have to stand for one contraction and then you can sit back down. Okay, beautiful. I'm also hearing you making some slight grunts too. Like, uh, I heard you doing that twice. So do you feel... Do you feel the head like with your fingers or with your body? Just with my body. You feel like a soft bulge? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So we'll, what we'll do is you can lean back now to show up. Perfect. You did it. It was perfect. We don't have we don't have to worry about any time. Time doesn't exist right now. We're just here. Baby's head, his head is gonna emerge whenever he's ready. You're doing a fantastic job. Just keep going. He's crowning, he's crowning. So when when his head comes out. Uh -huh. We're just going to keep the head under the water. Okay. Baby's not breathing out of his mouth yet. He's still breathing from placenta. He's in the water, so he doesn't notice the difference when he comes out in the water. Okay. And then on the next contraction, the shoulders will come out. And okay. once the shoulders are out, then you guys can reach down and bring him up. Before, okay. just make sure there's no cord around the neck. Gotcha. Okay. If you want to, you can you can grunt a little bit like mm, to make sure his head doesn't retract back but it's up to you his head will come out naturally on its own it's up to how you want his head to come out how you want it so we'll try it we'll try another contraction just breathing and then on the next one we can try a little push or a grunt beautiful there's no rush. You're doing you're doing perfectly fine. On the next contraction, you can grunt a little bit. It's almost the same like how we practice the J breath. But while you're doing the J breath, you're grunting. So like that. Wow, he's so close. We can see his hair. Much more of his head now, right, Mama? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay so you're gonna bring your legs a little bit more up okay 
When you get your next contraction, you're going to push. When you reach the peak of the contraction, you're going to take a deep breath. You're going to push again so his head doesn't retract back. Okay? All righty, deep breath in and push right down. Keep going, keep going. Now take another deep breath in and you're going to push again. Another deep breath again. Beautiful. 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 You did it, you did it, he's almost here. <gasps> you did it, you did it, Tishara. His head is here, his head is here. 10.55 a.m. So on the next contraction, the rest of his body is gonna come out, okay? Take a deep breath in, be patient, it's okay. This That was the biggest part. When his shoulders come out, it won't even feel anything similar to what the head felt like. And he's perfect. He's in a perfect position. So two, two is good for now. Just one at a time. The first one will get a little bit wet. When that one gets wet, then you just switch it for the next one. Okay, so the next contraction, you're gonna push his shoulders out and you're gonna bring him up, okay? I'm gonna let her try to grab him. Okay. 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 Everything looks perfect. <laughs> She's doing it, Drew. There he comes. You can reach down, reach down and grab him, bring him right up. Perfect. Rub his back in circular motions. Yay! Yay! <laughs> his mouth. So suction his mouth and any other mucus that you see. Beautiful. He has color in his skin tone. His color looks good. He's already doing his first cry. Is his eyes open? Not yet? Okay. Yeah. His head is moving. Body parts are moving. That's also a good sign. He's a healthy big boy. So you see that color in his skin tone? You see how his vibrant his skin looks? That means he's getting oxygen. He has a beautiful cry. You guys did it. So now you can get the next towel and switch it. Drew, you can put another towel on them. Yeah, the other one's a bit wet. You can take it off. Exactly 10 a.m. for you, exactly 11 a.m. for me. And whenever you're ready, you can breastfeed him as well. <laughs> you don't have to. If you want to, it helps the placenta come down. I'm so <laughs> So you don't have to do anything. All those cramps are going to help the placenta release and come down. You can just continue relaxing and bonding with baby. Yeah, he's looking for the breast, looks like. He is. He's so smart. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> you did a good job too, Drew. <laughs> we did it. I'm so happy and so grateful to have a baby come into the world. And she did a phenomenal job. Well, my client did a fantastic job. Here are some of her stats. So from my notes, she got back in the tub at 9.35 a.m. At 10.40 a.m., she said that she can feel the baby's head. At 10.47 a.m., the baby was crowning. And at 10.55 a.m., baby's head emerged. And at 11 a.m., my time, and 10 a.m., her time, baby was born.
a bit of her placenta began to emerge her placenta was born so that was 40 minutes after it was a very legacy birth textbook birth she did everything that she was supposed to do it literally went absolutely perfect her and her husband made a fantastic team and i'm so 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 proud of her so give her a round of applause in the comments down below smash the like button for her super 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 proud of her and if you want to learn more about the virtual doula program, you can do so by clicking the link in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you beautiful queens in the next video.